Welcome to the Tug TMD Air Start 250 and 270 Operations Guide. This video will walk you through the essential steps to safely and efficiently operate and shut down your unit. Begin by setting the parking brake and blocking the tires with chocks to secure the unit. Check the fuel level by lifting the fuel level check switch. If necessary, fill the tank before proceeding. If the ambient temperature is below 10 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 12 degrees Celsius, and the unit is equipped with an optional fuel heater, switch it to the on position 10 minutes prior to starting the engine. Check engine and compressor oil levels and top off if necessary. Place the compressor mode selector switch in the unload position and close the air delivery slash cutoff valves. Connect the air hose or hoses to the aircraft, ensuring a secure connection. Please refer to the manufacturer's operations manual on how to properly and safely connect the valves from the aircraft. Turn the ignition switch to the on position and verify that no warnings are illuminated on the control panel. If an error code appears, power down the unit by switching to the off position, wait a moment, then cycle the battery, disconnect switch off, and back on to reset the system. If the error persists, refer to the maintenance manual or contact a service technician. To start the engine, rotate the switch to the start position and release it immediately when the engine starts. Ensure all engine or compressor trouble lights are off. If any are illuminated, stop the engine and correct the issue before proceeding. Run the unit in unload mode for approximately five minutes to allow the engine to warm up. The engine idle speed should be 1,000 RPM. The unit will not enter jet start or air packs mode until the engine coolant temperature reaches 120 degrees Fahrenheit or 49 degrees Celsius. A green light will illuminate when the engine is ready. Ensure that the air hose or hoses are still properly connected to the aircraft. With the air delivery valves still closed, place the compressor mode selector switch in jet start or air packs position as required. The engine will momentarily speed up, then return to idle speed. Open the air delivery slash cutoff valve of the selected hose or hoses. Ensure the air hose or hoses are properly connected to the aircraft or suitable test fixture before proceeding. To shut down the unit, place the compressor mode selector switch in the unload position. Use the emergency stop button only in case of an emergency. Engaging the e-stop in a non-emergency situation could cause damage to the unit and will trigger an alert in an incident report. Close the air delivery slash cutoff valves and wait until the aircraft hoses have depressurized before disconnecting them. Please refer to the manufacturer's operations manual on how to properly and safely disconnect the valves from the aircraft. Unplug the air hose or hoses from the aircraft and store them properly. Do not unplug the hoses with the mode selector switch in air packs or jet start position, as the hoses may still be under pressure. Remove the wheel chocks and release the parking brake before moving the unit. The e-stops are located at the front, rear, and operator's console of the vehicle. Engaging any of the e-stops will immediately shut down the unit. To reset, gently twist the e-stop button clockwise. In an emergency, use the e-stop to cut off power from the ECM ignition switch input, shutting down the engine immediately. By following these procedures, you ensure the safe and efficient operation of your Air Start 250 and 270 unit. Always prioritize safety and refer to your operations manual for detailed guidance. Thanks for watching.